Hello, good evening, my friends. I'm having some difficulties. Estoy teniendo un par de dificultades. A ver si Melvin puedes escucharme. Hello. Yes, teacher. Melvin. Hello, yes. my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias por confirmar. Este, vamos a ver, Ceci, can you help, can you listen to me? ¿Pueden escucharme? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Good evening. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know some of you are already connected. Algunos ya están pues conectados. Vamos a esperar un poquito los demás. Ya se van a conectar. Me parece que unos vienen todavía de camino. Ya comenzamos en un momento. So welcome back to another English class. We have uh, just one more class. Solo nos queda una clase más. This is the class number uh, 19, clase número 19, como pueden ver acá. Class number 19. So we're about to finish. Ya estamos casi por terminar. And here we have this. Tenemos diferentes ways to say, diferentes para, diferentes formas para mencionar algo, por ejemplo, acá en este caso tenemos eh, formas de decir formas para presentar a alguien cuando vamos a por ejemplo, when you have uh, eh, you have a new employee, a new partner so you have to say his or her information in front of the other people You can mention one of these. Pueden mencionar cualquiera de estas. Look at this. Las otras después las voy a explicar. So, in this case, you can say, I'd like you to meet. Me gustaría que conocieran. But here, here we have just examples. This example. This example. And this example, okay? So you can invent or you can mention any other information that you want. For example, uh, number one says, I'd like you to meet Carl. He's a cashier. But you can say, I'd like you to meet Janet. She's a teacher, okay? I want to introduce you, Monica. She's a waitress. Or you can say, I want to introduce you... Ivania, she is a receptionist. Another example is, have you met Nancy? She's an accountant. You can say, eh, have you met Yomara? She's a lawyer. Okay, so you can say information of whoever. Información de quien sea, whoever. Okay, so we're going to use one of these phrases and add information. You can mention the name of a person, 
You can mention the occupation or whatever you want. Entonces vamos a elegir una de estas. Eh, agrega un nombre y una ocupación. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, I like, I'd like you to meet. I want to introduce you. I want to introduce you. Have you met? Y dicen el nombre. Have you met Edwin? Have you met Cecilia? Es una pregunta. La primera dice, quiero que conozcan a Carl. La segunda, quiero presentarles a Mónica. Y la tercera es, ¿conocen a Nancy? Have you met Nancy? She's an accountant. Ok. Prepare your answers. Preparen sus respuestas porque eh, de esta manera voy a pasar listo. Ok, I'm going to check the attendance list by saying this. Ok, do we have questions? Tenemos preguntas. Questions about this? No. Ok. This. And you can mention real people or you can invent information. Ok. Personas reales o personas que, ¿verdad? Hello, Janet. Uh, difficulties. Ah, se está tomando. Está complicado, ¿verdad? El tema de internet. Así estoy. That's my case. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. What good company you have? ¿Qué compañía tienes, Janet? Eh, tigo. Mm, y últimamente ha estado fallando un poco. Sí, yo creo que es la cajita la que se me ha arruinado. Porque no. Ah, router posiblemente, sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, no me lo han cambiado todavía. Comprendo, Jan, comprendo. But thank you for telling me. Gracias por comentarme. Ok. Um, this is the class. No sé ustedes, pero es emocionante que mañana es la última clase. So, very nice. And Friday, viernesito. Come on. Ok. Um, here we have Anna Iris. I don't know if Iris is here. Maybe not here by now. But we have also Ceci. Hello, Ceci. Good evening. Present. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. Please. I have to meet Enrique. He is a carpenter. Perfect. So, lo que sería, have you met? No, I have. Have you met? Mm -hmm. Enrique. Okay. He's a carpenter. Very good example. And Christy. I don't know if Christy is here. Uh, Christy, I don't know. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. Are, are you busy or can you participate? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I like to meet Xiomara. She's mm -hmm. a lawyer. Thank you. I like you to meet. Mm -hmm. I like you to meet. Thank you. Very good example. Edwin, hello, my friend. Good evening, teacher. Hi there. Okay. Uh, I friend? want. I want to introduce you, uh, Jackie. She's an she's a stylist. A very good stylist. Thank you, Edwin. Good example. Yes. And Frank, uh, what about, I don't know if Frank is here. No, okay, Gabriela. I don't know what happened with Gabriela yesterday. Yes, Gabriela. Si estás por acá, verdad, Gabi? Te me esconde. Okay. Creo que se va conectando. Ya lo voy a consultar. Ivania. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How did you meet Iris? Yes, she worked in Hotel Sheraton. Ok. Solo que ahí sería en lugar de yes. Solo. Have you met Nancy? Have you met Iris? Entonces asumimos que la otra persona no la conoce. Y tú le contestas. Ok. Como have you met Nancy? Yes. Eh, Yes, Janela, no. Ah, she's blah, blah, blah. But thank you. Buen acento. Buena pregunta. 
Jackie. Hi there. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I want to introduce you, Esther. She's a truck driver. Very nice. Thank you. Jose Ernesto. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hi. I want to introduce you to Oscar. He is a good electrical engineer. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, Cari. Good evening. Good evening. Cari. I would like you to meet Alan Sander. He's an actor. Wow. Your friend is very famous, Cari. Nice. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Paola. Paola, are you there? Hi. Good evening. Hi. I'd like you to meet Josué. He's a teacher. Oh. It sounds like a nice person. Suena como una persona super genial. Thank you. May, are you there, May? Hi, good evening. Hello. Hey, how do you meet Amanda? She is a doctor. Very nice. A doctor, good example. Solo que sería, have you met? Porque meet es presente, met es pasado. Mm -hmm. como, uh, Thank you. Ya conocías a Amanda? Okay, good for Amanda. Okay, Melvin. Hello there. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, have you met Roberto? He has a mechanic. Okay, uh, he's a mechanic. Very nice for Roberto. Miguel, I don't know if Miguel is here. I guess Miguel has some difficulties. Okay. Um, let's see, Walter. Not connecting by now. Xiomara, are you ready here, Xiomara? Hi, teacher. Hello. Oh. Uh, have you met Christy? She is in your system. Thank you. Janet. Hi. I like you to meet Johnny. Johnny, he's a pilot. Okay, good for Johnny. Okay, uh, Jesse, I don't know if Jesse is here. Bea. Okay, I guess no. Solo déjeme revisar esto. Sí, aquí estamos, teacher. Bea, hello, okay. Hello, hello, teacher. And have you met Ali? His business manager. ¿Cómo se dice gerente de negocio? Mm -hmm. Business Bis manager. Business. Okay, very nice. Have you met? Met, okay. Porque meet es presente y met es, ahí dice ya conocías pasado. Okay, but thank you, Bea. Okay, eh, quiero explicar un poquito esto. Mm, en la 1 y en la 2 dice la siguiente manera. I like you to meet. Fíjense bien. Este, quiero que conozcas. I like you to meet. Y la otra, I want to introduce you. Quiero presentarte a ti. Ahora, quiero que, bueno, vamos a poner atención en lo siguiente. Cuando a ustedes, eh, alguien les dice así, I like you, les está diciendo, me gustas. ¿Ok? Alegrense. ¿Ok? I like you, me gustas. Ahora, pero cuando le dicen, I like you, to sing a song. Sería, I'm sorry, I like you. To sing a song. Aquí es diferente. La palabra to hace la diferencia. Fíjate bien. Si solo decía I like you, sería me gustas. Pero cuando dice I like you to sing a song, me gusta que cantes una canción. O simplemente me gusta que cantes. Vamos a lo siguiente. Cuando alguien le dice, I like you to send the report. Aquí le está diciendo, me gustaría que tú envíes el reporte. No le están diciendo, me gustas, envía el reporte. Mm -mm. ¿Verdad? No se alegren. Sino que, I like you to send the report. Me gustaría que envíes. Por eso aquí en la primera, I like you to meet. Me gustaría que
que conozcas. Okay. Now let's see the other example that we have here. I want you to marry me. Quiero que te cases conmigo. Fíjense bien. I want you to marry me. Si alguien solo les dice esta palabra, esa frase, I want you, alégrense, significa te quiero. Ok. Pero I want you to es quiero que tú hagas algo. Igual la siguiente, ¿verdad? I like you to do the report. Me gustaría que hicieras el report. Ok. Solo son eh, por ahí clues par de pistas. Y vamos con lo siguiente. That's very important. Here. Normalmente yo he escuchado. I have listened to some people. He escuchado personas cuando dicen, por ejemplo, mm, vamos, ¿qué quieres? Eh, vamos a comer. ¿A dónde? Y la gente dice, whatever. Allí están, eh, pues, haciendo, ¿cómo se llama? Se están confundiendo. Porque cuando decimos whatever significa lo que sea. Wherever es donde sea. Whoever, quien sea. Pero entonces, si él dice, ¿a dónde vamos a comer? Mm, donde sea. Ustedes pueden decir, ah, wherever. Es diferente cuando te dice, ah, ¿qué quieres comer? Pizza o hamburguesa. Ah, aquí se puede decir, mm, whatever. What do you want? Coffee or chocolate. Mm, whatever. Whatever. Lo que sea. Ok. Who is going to be the, who is going to be the, the host? ¿Quién va a ser el maestro de ceremonia? Whoever, quien sea. I don't care, no me importa. Okay. So this uh, vocabulary is kind of important because uh, we confused these words. Okay. Whatever, wherever, whoever. Hay una canción que se llama Wherever You Will go, creo que se llama Calling, algo así se llama el grupo. Donde sea que tú vayas, donde sea, wherever you will go. Ok. Y la última palabra importante, instead of, anoten. Instead of significa en lugar de o en vez de. Por ejemplo, si ustedes ya pidieron, if you are in a restaurant and you ask for a hamburger, ya pidieron hamburguesa, you can say to the waitress, I'm sorry. I want pizza instead of hamburger. Quiero pizza en lugar de hamburguesa. Ok. Instead of. Son de esas frases que uno está buscando. Y a veces no sabe cómo decir. Ok. Como decir depends on. Well. We continue. And here we have some other. Very important. Ways to say nice to meet you. Cuando le dicen a uno siempre. It's very common that we use this. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. But you can say, for example, very nice to meet you, or it's a pleasure to meet you, or pleased to meet you. Okay? Very nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Okay? And now we finish with this. Vamos con lo siguiente. Would you like to be famous? ¿Te gustaría ser famoso? Yes, no, why? ¿Por qué? Yes, because I would like to travel. No, because I don't like to be famous. Ok, so maybe here we have some volunteers, par de voluntarios. So you can share your opinions. We can listen. What do you think about this? Yeah, maybe. You go, my friend. Would you like to be famous? No. Okay. No, because I think they have very little personal life. Very good exam. Good selection of words. Buena elección de palabras. Yeah, because I don't think they have personal life. Okay. The paparazzi, the journalists, the yeah, they are taking videos, photographs. Of course, they don't have personal life. Thank you, uh, Ceci, and then Janet. Yes, because I will have more possibilities to have good jobs. Yeah, that's a positive thing. You can have a lot of jobs because you are famous. Okay, and jobs it means money. Okay. Thank you. And uh, we go with Janet 
and then we go with Jackie. Hi, teacher. Hello there. Would you like to be famous? No. Why? Uh -huh. ahora tú contestas. No, mm -hmm. because I uh, like to have a private life. Yeah, a private life, una vida privada. It is very difficult when you have to hide, tiene que esconderte, hide uh, from other people, from the paparazzi and all those crazy people. Thank you, uh, Jackie and then Edwin. Mm, no, I don't would like to be famous because when you are famous, you don't have privacy. Yes, privacy, okay. Podemos decir privacy y para decir el negativo, I would not like, ¿verdad? En, en lugar de I don't would, so I would not, okay? I would not like, okay? No hay privacy, no hay privacidad. Thank you. If you notice that some of the answers are connected, are the same idea but different words important same idea different words lo que le digo bueno, misma idea es diferentes palabras edwin and then we go with cari uh, for me i uh, i would like to be famous because i will have the possibility for help other other people yeah, possibility to help other people. If they can be relative, family members, friends, or some other, right? Some yes, others. Yes, but, but difficult for, for haters. It's difficult. Yeah, remember that haters, they are going to be always saying negative things. Even yes. you do positive things. Ever, yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah, ever, forever in life, my friend. Yeah, thank you, Edwin. Oh, and even we can find haters different parts of the world okay even in our jobs thank you my friend good example and here we have with Cari, and then we go with Pau um no because I don't like being in front of many people but you are teacher Cari. yes but you it's are a, in a small group yes yeah, small group is different right yes. small group and you know that though you know your yes. student mm -hmm. It's difficult from a different public, different audience, and you don't know who is there, okay? Right. So thank you, Carrie. So it means that you are kind of introvert. Eres un poquito introvertida? Introvert a little bit? No. Yes. A little bit? Ah, sí, soy yo, Carrie. I'm like that. Okay, thank you, Carrie. Um, we got finish with Pau, please. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. mm, would you like to be famous? Why? No. Because I don't like my life to be public. Okay, similar idea. I la like... Es la misma observación que le decía Cari, ¿verdad? Con la palabra public. Public. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, I love your words. Me encantan las palabras que están utilizando. If you notice... A similar idea or the same idea, but all of your answers are different. Ya ven? La hermosura del vocabulario. Thank you, my friends. We're going to continue later, but uh, here we have pending something. Tenemos pendiente algo. One topic that we didn't complete yesterday, and it is this. The use of can, el uso de can, okay? Um, here you can notice can versus could. It's really important. We use can when you want to express one ability or skill that you have or something that is not possible, can't, or a question if it is possible, right? For example, and here we have she can drive. Ella puede manejar. She can drive. Escuchen la T. She can. Can. Okay. And here we have a question. Can she drive? The answer. Yes. She can. No. She can. Okay. Even Obama president, in, when he was a candidate, 
use a slogan. Yes. It was with uh, capital letters, well, mayúsculas. Yes, we can. Ese era el slogan de, de Obama. Yes, we can. Si sí, podemos. Okay. So um, we can have like different use of can uh, in affirmative. Affirmative to express an ability. I express an ability. Negative. Uh, express something is not possible. Algo que no es posible. And question. Ask if it is possible. Pregunta si es eh, posible. Okay. Se dan cuenta, es bastante fácil. But now here we have the other. Could. La pronunciación es así. You're not going to pronounce O and L. La O y la L no se pronuncia, solo could. Could. So, could significa dos cosas. Significa podría y también significa pude en pasado. Digámoslo de esta manera, could es el pasado de can. ¿Ok? Pero es un auxiliar. Por eso el auxiliar, igual que would, should, no se necesita un don't, don't or doesn't, porque es un auxiliar. Esa es su función. So, the same sentence. She could drive. Ella podía manejar. She couldn't drive. Ella no podía manejar. Could she drive? Podía ella manejar? Yes, she could. Si ella podía. No, she couldn't. No, no podía. Ok. Eh, para la negativa se dice así. Couldn't. Tal cual. Could. Cu eh, la palabra could. Y la negativa couldn't. Ok. Questions. Porque tenemos ejercicio. Ok. Could, couldn't. Ok. Well, let's complete this. Vamos a completar entonces esto. Vaya, para que no digan que no, no van a participar. Les doy una pista. Vamos a utilizar could o couldn't cuando veamos algunas muestras de oraciones en pasado. O palabras que te digan. Porque last year significa... El año pasado, I was sick, yo estaba enfermo. Yesterday significa ayer. Eh, last night, anoche. Entonces acá, como estamos hablando en pasado, no vamos a utilizar can't, vamos a utilizar could o couldn't. ¿Ok? Y así hay otras. So, les doy un par de segundos para que revisen y ya las completamos. Okay, let's listen to some volunteers. Come on, come on. We, we can start with Ivania and then we go with Beatriz. Okay, Ivania. Okay, teacher number four. Mm -hmm. They couldn't go yeah. shopping I'm sorry, yesterday. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yesterday, because the store was closed. Yes, thank you. Ellos no, pud no pudieron ir de compras ayer porque la tienda estaba cerrada. Yes, yeah, the store was closed. Thank you. Okay, Bea and Edwin. Bea. Sería, eh, I couldn't. La number, one. siempre el nombre. Number one. Number number one. one. I couldn't go to the party last night because I was sick. sick. Ok, perfect. Yeah. No pude ir a la fiesta anoche porque estaba enfermo. Perfect. That's it. 
Edwin and Melvin. Number two. Yeah. Could Noel cook Italian food? Yes, he could. Okay, but that's uh, in the past. But now we can say in the present. In the present, um, we use. Ah, uh, sorry. Can. Yeah. Can Noel cook Italian food? Yes, he could. Mm -mm. Yes, he. Ah, yes, he can. Yeah, yes, he can. Thank you. Ah, see, is is the time. It's... Yeah, it depends on the time. Yes, exactly. yes. Okay. Al, algunas que están subrayadas, hay otras que no subrayadas, pero las que están subrayadas, algunas llevan could. Las que no están en presente, ¿verdad? You utilizan can, pero hay que revisar, okay? Thank you, Edwin, but good, well done. Eh, Melvin, please, and then Iris. Number 11. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I could hear you right now. The music is too low. Perfect. But it is in present. Estamos en presente. So, en lugar de couldn't, sería... Cool. Mm -mm. Can, can, can. But in negative. Can't. Yeah. Very nice. Discúlpeme. No puedo escucharte ahora porque dice right now, ahora. Okay. The music is so loud. The music, la música está muy fuerte, okay? But thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Melvin. Well done. It is, and then we we'll go with Janet. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Uh, number six. Mm -hmm. Helen can ride a bicycle. She rides to the school every day. Thank you. Very nice. Ella puede andar en bicicleta. Ella viaja a la escuela todos los días. Okay, thank you. Janet, and then we go with Jackie. Number 14. Mm -hmm. How many hot dogs can you, can you eat at, at one time? ¿Cuántos hot dogs te puedes comer en una sola vez? Thank you. Well done. Jackie, and then we go with Pau. Number 15. Yeah. I can read without my reading glasses. Where are they? No puedo I leer can't. con mis... No puedo leer no. sin mis lentes. ¿Dónde están ellos? Where are they? Good. Jackie. Me siento confundida. Gracias, teacher. Ok, confundida en qué? En tu vida o con el gramática? No, me, o sea, ya como el contexto de la oración, como de, decidir si es eh, afirmativo o negativo. Sí, Creo que sigue es, tu corazón, sigue tu corazón, ya que. Como lectura comprensiva. Ya, yeah, el contexto te, te da a entender, ¿verdad? Si es pasado o si es en presente. Yo sé que cuesta un poquito, cuesta, pero le vamos hallando, ¿ya ven? Ya le vamos hallando. Thank you. Ok, we'll go with Paola and Cecilia. Number eight. Uh -huh. eh, could you see to, could you see the moon last night? Last night. night. No, I will, could, could. I couldn't. Couldn't. Thank could you. Thank you. Okay, we go with Cecilia and then Maida. Number 10. Yeah. Most dinosaurs walked on land, but some could fly or even swim. Even swim, sí. Muchos dinosaurios caminaron sobre la tierra, pero algunos podían volar o aún nadar. El walk, walk que se pronuncia walk, que el pasado de los verbos no lo vamos a ver ahora, ni en este módulo lo van a ver después. Eso te da a entender. But thank you, Ceci. Very, very good. Uh, we go with who? Meida, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Sí. No, oh. En Cari. Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine. Um, when Ken, I talk to about the company report. Thank you. ¿Cuándo puedo hablarte acerca del de reporte de la compañía? Solo que la palabra talk se pronuncia talk, como TikTok. Talk, sí. ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Thank you. Well done. 
May Cari. Uh, and then Christy. Number three. Mm -hmm. My sister couldn't swim last year, but now she could. Ok. Mi hermana no podía nadar el año pasado, pero ahora, but now, she. No te escucho. Cari. But now, pero ahora. Mm -mm. Pero, ahora pero ahora ella podía. No, sí. Podrá. No, me gusta oh. que estás inventando, pero no. Yo creo que podrá. Podría. Pero ahora ella puede. I but think now that she... she can. Can. <laughs> Thank you, Cari. Ya veo que soy bien creativa, me gusta. Good point. Eh, let's go with who else? Me parece que Christy, right? And then Jose. Christy, are you there? Okay, maybe not Christy, but we can have a uh, Jose and then Xiomara. Okay, Jose. Uh, here we have number five, seven, twelve, or thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, 13. Douglas. Douglas is the three because he can stop his car. Casi, casi, casi. Eh, sería. Douglas golpeó el árbol porque él no pudo. Good. No pudo. Thank you. Eh, we go now with Xiomara de Francisco. Xiomara? Fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you read where you were for year old? Ok, yes, very I can. Muy bien, solo que va a ser en pasado. Lo mismo, mm -hmm. eh, afirmativo, mm -hmm. pero en pasado, ¿qué sería? Yes, I call. Could, could. could. Bien. Uh, could you read? ¿Podías leer cuando este, tenías cuatro años? Yes, I could. This sí, yo could. podía. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Francisco, are you there, Frank? Number uh, seven twelve. or twelve? Twelve. Mm -hmm. I call drive a truck when I was only sixteen years old. Mm -hmm. Sixteen years old. Sí, yo podía manejar un camión cuando tenía solo dieciséis. Thank you. Vamos con la siete. I'm very tired. So, uh, estoy muy cansado. Okay, so I can't go out uh, to the park to play. Así que estoy cansado, así que no puedo salir al parque a jugar. Thank you. I know it is kind of difficult, but we're doing okay. Lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Okay, we continue with uh, the other. Tenemos otras propositions. Vean acá. Tenemos among. Among es un sinónimo de between. Se recuerdan que between significa entre. Es igual a among. Ok. Luego tenemos near. Es sinónimo de next to. O sea, cerca a la par. Ok. Luego tenemos in front of. Que ya conocemos que es in front. ¿Verdad? Adelante. Pass es pasando. Vamos a... Con la primera. Jackie, can you read please number one? Where is the park located? Where is the park located? It is located among many places. Mm -hmm. ¿Dónde está el parque localizado? Está localizado entre muchos lugares. Thank you. Okay, we go with Melvin. Number two, please. Where is the sport palace located? It's located on various streets in front of the park. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, we go with Ivania and then Janet. Okay, Ivania. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Yeah, it's located near the restaurant. That's the affirmative. Thank you. And Janet, please, the last one. Where is the... Church. 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 Where is the church? It's located past the school. Thank you. 
Ok, now look at this. Vamos a ver acá. Vean lo que tenemos. Ok, tenemos, here we have another map. Tenemos otro mapa. Vean, here we have uh, similar places in comparison to the other map. Bank, more restaurants, for palace, school, church, city hall, book work, arrows company, park. Creo que lo habíamos practicado esta. So, here we have some sentences. Sport Palace is the restaurant is the city hall, the church. Okay. Uh, you select one of these. Vamos a comenzar con Jackie. Select one of these sentences and I'm going to show you the picture. Te enseño la imagen. What number, Jackie? Number three. Number three. The restaurant. First the Avenue. Restaurant is first. Vamos a ver. The restaurant. First Avenue. The restaurant. The restaurant is on First Avenue. Ok. Podemos decir on First Avenue. Que uh, un sinónimo de on es past. Ok. Y también podemos utilizar esta, mira, alone. Pero la que tú dijiste, le voy a poner oh. aquí, on. Se puede. Solo que aquí está la, la, la opción de alone, pero se puede on. Thank you, Jackie. Ok, we go now with um, Gary and then Edwin. What number? Number one. One, mm -hmm. The sport place is... The bank. Vamos a ver. Sport no, Palace. No. The bank. Sport Palace. The bank. Ajá. Uh -huh. In ¿Cuál front es? of? Ok. We can say in front of. Ok. Edwin. What number? Two or four? And then Ivani. Number two? Number two, okay. City Hall. City Hall in the City Hall is the church, the church mm. and book work. Uh -huh. uh, the, the map, the map, please. The map. <laughs> yeah, here you can see. City Hall, church, mm -hmm. and book work. Ah. Is between. Yeah, you can say between. Okay, perfect. Aquí tenemos between. It's eh. be, be, the pronunciation is between. Let's see. Between. between. Ah, okay. Between. Between. Mm -hmm. between. Yeah. Um, Ivania, please number four. Okay, teacher. The church and the city hall are? Okay, the church and the city hall. The church sure. and the city hall. Church and the city hall are? Okay. In front of? Mm -hmm. In front of, yeah, you can say it in that way. Thank you. Very nice, my friends. We continue now with uh, some other question that it's very important. Would you like to be famous? Yes, no, why? I like to hear Ivania and then we go with Maida. Okay, Ivania, would you like to be famous? Sorry, teacher. Eh, a mí me dijo bien. Sí, yes. Eh, not because I won't have privacy. Privacy, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Yeah, privacy. In any aspect of my life. Yeah. But, but at the same time, if for economic stability. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. I know it's difficult. Um, maybe you would, you will not have privacy with your husband, 
or your boyfriend or your kids, your grandparents. But in on the other hand, we have economy. It's going to be good. Good points. Thank you. Okay, we go with Meida and then Xiomara. Uh, um, I don't like paparazzi because they invade your pri privacy. They invade, yes. Maybe you are having your celebration with your family and then somebody okay. taking photographs and you, what? What's going okay. on? What happened to you? Okay, so that's it. <laughs> Thank you, May. Uh, Xiomara, and then we go with Beatriz. Mm, no, mm -hmm. uh, because um, why can't you enjoy the fish on the trunks of your family? Okay, that's you it. Are always in the eyes of the hurricane. Mm -hmm. Hurricane. Yeah, like Bentaneando or something like that. You're going to be like in those kind of programs talking about you or on Facebook now. Okay, and something. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good points, uh, Beatriz. And then we go with um, Francisco. Mm, no, because I don't like to make my life public or public. Yeah, public. Okay, yeah, definitely it is. And maybe we can have Francisco and Christy. No, because I don't like to be among the people. Okay, thank you. Uh, Christy and then Jose Ernesto. Yes, because I would like to travel around the world and see many tourist place. Definitely, it is. You can travel around the world. That's something positive. Jose Ernesto and Iris. Yes, because I would like to travel and uh, be able to support other people. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Iris, what about you? Um... Do you like to be famous? I'm not. Uh, why? Because there is no private life, a lot of social problems. Thank you. Gabriela, are you there? Okay, no problem. Let's move to speaking activity. We're going to have a uh, speaking activity in pairs. Okay, and you're going to do this. You're going to write uh, the information of your classmate. For example, name, office phone or main phone. Okay, depends on you. Workplace, el nombre de la compañía. Address, verdad, la dirección. Job position, department, que no es el departamento la libertad, este, cabañas, no, es el departamento o el área de trabajo. En ID, eso pueden inventárselo. Si se dan cuenta, aquí están las iniciales de M, de Mauricio Q, de Quintanilla, y pueden cambiar unos cuatro números de acá, ¿ok? Pueden tomar de captura si gustan, porque después vamos a hacer esto, ¿ve? Vamos a completarlo, right But here we have this. Les doy un momento para que anoten lo que van a preguntar y lo que le van a decir sus compañeros. Mientras hago los equipos. Eh, sí, sí. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Será que me pueden ayudar con lo de la cultura? Que a mí se me dificulta porque no puedo movilizar el programa. Ok, tal vez este nos puede colaborar. Agradecería. También sé si nos ha ayudado y otros compañeros. Ok.
Ok, see you in a moment. Uh, recuerden anotar la información de su compañero o compañera. Teacher. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo se decía de, de los profesores en el department? Ah, teaching department. Teaching. Teaching. Ok. Yeah. okay. Thank nice. you. Sí, you're welcome. See you in a moment. Walter, Christy, tenemos dificultades para las salas. Ok, Walter, acepta la solicitud cuando puedas.
Okay, my friends, we're going to report. Eh, vamos a hacer el reporte de la información que tenemos, ¿verdad? Eh, siempre utilizando he, she, ¿verdad? Si queremos, vamos a utilizar solo dos tipos eh, de información. Por ejemplo, his name is, si es eh, compañero, sí, ¿verdad? His name is um, Carlos. Ok. And um, his job position is uh, janitor. Ok. So this is an example. Podemos decir uh, her name is Maria and her department is uh, production. Ok. Utilicen dos tipos de, de información utilizando his, her, ¿verdad? Aunque si quieren decir que él trabaja en algún lugar, ¿verdad? He works in, ¿ok? Pero por el momento, dos tipos de información, ¿ok? Here I have example. Vamos a ver con quién comenzamos entonces acá. Eh, elijan dos tipos de información y me escriben por chat and we're going to pronounce it in a moment pueden ver el chat ahí está la, el ejemplo si no igual aquí se los pongo Okay, in this case, we're going to start with some of you. Uh, let me check this. We start with Ceci and then Frank. Okay, Ceci. His name is Francisco and he is a supervisor. Perfect, thank you. Frank and Edwin. He is. His name is Cecilia Alemán. His job, Climate Service. Okay, thank you. Um, what about Edwin and then Jesse? Her name is Ivania Juarez and her workplace is Citlali Hotel. Okay, good. What about uh, Jesse and Melvin? Jesse, ¿estás por ahí? Si no, bueno, seguimos con Melvin. Ok, continuamos con Melvin entonces, and then Cari. Melvin, hello. Her, her name is Janet Campos, and her workplace is Mariano Galvez School. 
Very nice. Cari and Pao. Her name is Paola and her job position is teacher. Thank you. Pao and Gabriela. Her name is Karina Amaya and her job position is a teacher. Thank you. Gabriela and Jackie. Her name is Xiomara and her job position is secretary. Thank you. Jackie and Janet. Jackie, hello there. Okay, uh, Jackie, bueno, vamos con Janet and Ivania. His name is Melvin Castro and he host position is and he he, he worked sería he, he worked. Work plus. Ah, okay, he work, he work plus. Is a uh, RG Nieto. Okay. Thank you. Solo que al inicio sería his name is Melvin. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. he is Melvin. Thank you. Ivani and Meida. His workplace place at Atlantida Bank and his name is Edwin Alcón. Perfect. Uh, Meida and Christy. Okay. Meida, tienes apagado el audio. Okay. Ahora sí. sí. Her name is Jackie. Her office main phone is seventy two twenty five eighty seven forty forty. Wow, very nice, Maida. Thank you, Christian Xiomara. Her name is Beatriz Maravilla, and her job position, we estimate, is teacher. Sí, so position, ajá, pero captamos. Thank you. Xiomara and Iris. Her name is Gabriela Pozo and her whole position teacher. Teacher, teacher. Thank you. Iris mm -hmm. and Jackie. Mm -hmm. Sí, teacher. Uh, name is uh, Jota Alemán. Uh, office name Ok, his name, ¿verdad? Porque dice el nombre, ¿verdad? No, his name is. Ok, Jackie, are you ready? And the bear. Her job position is analyst. She works in Promerica Bank. Very good. And Bea, please. Okay, I don't know if Bea is there. Okay, let's move with this. And here we have this. These are read employments. Click on the alternative directions below in the correct word. Okay, veamos acá. En la dirección que aparece acá, the direction, the address, ¿verdad? Eh, Janet, ¿podrías leerla? On Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt Street. And first Avenue, Avenue number eight five eight five three mm -hmm. Santa Cecilia San Salvador. Salvador. Okay, uh, on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Okay, let's see. Eh, cuando es así, podemos decir número por número. Sí, puede ser. Mm -hmm. No problem. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Normalmente, a menos que se sea una cantidad de dinero, es que se dicen todo, toda la cantidad. Ah, Pero okay. cuando es fechas, por ejemplo, 2024 se dice 2024. ¿Verdad? En pares, el número de teléfono igual a uh, 22, 99, 22, 99 y así. Pero ah, okay. este, cuando son números de casa, eh, así, de, 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 de hogar y todo eso, sí. Número por número. Okay. Es más fácil y más. Y no hay equivocación ahí. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you. Yeah, thank you to you. Okay, uh, number one, it's located in front of the mall and First Avenue. It's located across the First Avenue behind the restaurant. It's located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and book board. It's located along Roosevelt Street next to the city hall and the park. Janet uh, mentioned this on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Tenemos que 
y the workplace is Arrows Technology Company. Arrows Technology Company. Arrows Company. Arrows Company. Ok. ¿Cuál de estas es la dirección correcta? Look at this. Vamos con la primera. It's located in front of the mall on First Avenue. In front of the mall. Está en frente de, de, del centro comercial. Mm -mm. No, right. Let's go number two. It's located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. Across First Avenue behind restaurant. Atrás de restaurant, de restaurante. Mm, no. What about number three? It's located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the bookboard. On Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the bookboard. Can you notice? Esa es la dirección correcta. Okay. A Rose Company. Thank you. Vamos con... Antes de pasar al tema de... Yeah. Este tema muy interesante. Who has had the most influence in your life and why? ¿Quién ha tenido la mayor influencia en tu vida and why? You can mention, for example, my mother, because she gives me good advice. Or my grandfather, because he is a good worker. Uh, my grandmother, my father, my uncle, my aunt, my sister. Okay. So we're going to give reasons about the best influence in our lives, especially a member of our family. That's something that is very common that we have like a, the best influence, like a father or mother. Okay. Uh, volunteers, no es no, no extenso lo que nos van a decir, sino que puede ser corto. Ceci, ok, Ceci. Sin, de, sin decir dad. la pregunta. Ajá, my dad, ok. My dad, because he is a hard worker and always wants to, live, to learn new things. Wow. He is my example to follow because I consider him a successful person. Wow, it sounds like a superhero, a very nice person. Yes. Thank you. Yes, father, worker, and he has, like, objectives. Very clear. Thank you, Ceci. We go with Ivania and Edwin. My mother, because science, I can remember, she has not given up on anything and has always moved on. Good. Since, in lugar de science, since. Okay. Uh, never give up. Nunca se ha por vencido. Come on. Wow, uh, he's a, a superwoman. Thank you. Yeah, uh, good characteristic. Edwin and Janet. Teacher, I have three most influence in my life. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> in no the problem. first time, in the first time, my mother because she she all the time gives give give us um my brothers sisters and me uh, all love of the world. <laughs> wow. My mother. And my father, because she hard worker all the time. Because he is. Mm -hmm. See, and my 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 father, because he a hard worker oh, all the nice. time. And my my older oldest brother, because he worked since um uh, fifteen years old. Oh, he was very and, young. And help and help us, uh, for our studies to my brother sisters and me wow and, and he and he and uh, the um two years uh, ago mm -hmm. eh, eh, estuvo a punto? he was about he, he was, was about a... of die oh, okay i was uh, he was about but, to die really yes. but yes. he's okay now Yes, it's okay because oh, nice. he was uh, uh, operator of the health. Okay, operation. Uh, okay. Operation in the health. And, and now is okay. Oh, perfect. Thank God. Yes. Good. Yes. Wow, you have very specific uh, people in your life. And yes. And good examples, good characteristics. Uh, you are very uh, lucky, Tortu, because you have people like that around you. 
Okay. I have a great, I have a great family. Yeah, yeah. That's six. Um, for all, um, three bro, two brothers and me, mm -hmm. and three sisters. In the order, in the order, sister, brother, sister, brother, sister. Okay, and me. one and one, <laughs> one and yes. one. Wow. And I, I, I was the 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 last. <laughs> oh, you are the baby. Nice. Yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> It is a good example that you have to follow with your kids and the rest yeah. of the kids to teach, enseñarles, to teach the others the values of the family. Yes. The family, Edwin, thank you for sharing. I like to hear. You're that. welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Janet and Iris. My daddy, because okay. he is touch, me too, value, value, no sé cómo se dice valora. Value. valora. Value, they la the little things in life. Very nice. Yeah, there are some details, small things, but they are important in our life, right? So yeah. good for you because you have your dad. So good example in your life. Thank you, Janet. Okay. It is, and then we go with Jackie. Uh, my mother, because she has been a pillar in the in my life. And unconditional support, she has never left me alone. Nice. Yeah, your mother was always there, simplest way, always there next to you. That's a perfect uh, gift. Jackie and Melvin. My cousin, mm -hmm. he's very responsible and clever person nice very, very good imagine not uh, not all the people that we admire can be father or mother but also uh, a relative a family member uh, that is close to us que está cerca de nosotros. thank you jackie uh, melvin and cari my mother because she is a woman who has always a struggle to meet her goals. Oh, very nice. Goals, objectives, clear. And she's, uh, she's always trying to achieve. Está intentando siempre alcanzarlos. Very nice. A good example. Goals in life. Objectives in life. That's so important. Thank you, Melvin. Gary, please. Mm, my mother, because she always looks for the best for me and protects me. She has always taught me that I must work for my things. Very nice. Good uh, uh, good uh, characteristics of your mother, Kari. You have brothers and sisters as well? Yes. Four. How many? Three sisters and one brother. Okay, three sisters and one brother. Okay, nice. You are five. Yeah. So a great fighter. Una gran luchadora, tu mamá. Thank you. Okay, we continue later. And now we're going to have a listening. Ya tenemos días que no tenemos un listening, right? So in this case, I'm going to present some audios in which you can listen the name of the person. There are four people. Name of the person, the phone number, the workplace, the address, job position, department, and ID, okay? Yeah, so be ready with this. Uh, name, phone, workplace, address, job position, and department. Le doy tiempo para que no tengas acá the categories so we can be ready.
Okay, let's listen to these uh, people. And we're going to listen two times. Here we have number one. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is 2256-9789. I work in a city hall on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT0603. And one. Let's listen again. Number one. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is 2256-9789. I work in a city hall on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT0603 and 1. And si escucharon? Me... Okay, I'm sorry. Un poco, déjenme revisar, déjenme revisar. Ok, vea esa por ahí. Hello. Sí, teacher, sí. Ok, este, se corta, me decías, o oh, no se escuchó nada. Hola. ¿Ya le había puesto el que lo escuchaba cortado? Eh, sí, sí, me parece. Sí, teacher. Ok, Janet, ¿escuchaste? ¿O oh, se escuchaba cortado? Se escuchó cortado en una parte. Ok, vamos otra vez. Number one. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is 2256-9789. I work in a city hall on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT0603 and 1. Ahora que tal? Escuchamos? Yeah, perfect. Let's go with uh, audio number two. Here we go. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 62534132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Barrier Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. Okay, check it un poquito rápido. Vamos otra vez. One more time, number two. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 62534132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Barrier Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. And because it is very fast, we're going to listen one more time. Number two. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 62534132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Barrier Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. Okay, and now number three. Hi, my name is Elisa. My phone number is 62534132. 
79632154. I work in a bank on various street and First Avenue. I am an accountant. I work in finance. My ID is ES96890. Okay, number three, again, let's assume we must relax, okay? Number three. Hi, my name is Elisa. My phone number is 79632154. I work in a bank on various street and First Avenue. I am an accountant. I work in finance. My ID is ES96890. Okay, I guess you got it. Creo que ya lo tiene. Number four. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78-26-61-67. I work in Book World Company. The address is on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN51159. Number four again. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78266167. I work in Book World Company. The address is on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN51159. The last time, la última vez, four. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78266167. I work in Book World Company. The address is on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN5159. Okay, let's listen. What do we have here? Vamos a ver si podemos, um, si podemos completar esto. Please, you tell me if you have information. Uh, yeah. don't, don't worry if you have two columns, three columns. A veces no es necesario tener toda la información, okay? But if you have the half, si tiene la mitad de la información, uh, no problem, okay? We're going to try to complete this. Okay. Let's see here some volunteers. Vamos a ver unos voluntarios. Vamos por acá. And let's listen to some of you, okay? Well, very nice. We're going to start with Jackie, okay? And then we continue with Ivania. Tranqui, Ivania, no te la quitan, hombre. Relax. Jackie, what number? Right. One, two, three, or four? Number four. Let's go with number four. Mm -hmm. His name is Dennis. Mm -hmm. His phone number is 78-26-61-77. Okay. 67, 67. Yeah, 67. He works in book work company. Mm -hmm. um, address is Second Avenue, Roosevelt Street. Mm -hmm. He's Job occupation is salesperson. Yep. At at sales department. Mm -hmm. La palabra at está bien utilizada. Uh, you can say in 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 sales in. department. Mm -hmm. His ID is MN fifty one fifteen nine. Wow! Very good, Jackie. Complete information. Thank you. Well done. Ivania, te la ganaron, but you have other option. Yes. No te creo, Ivania. Ah, pobre Jackie dice, 
No, come on, but you have some other option. Tienes otra opción, Ivania. Lo siento, Ivania. No problem, no problem. Okay. No worry. Number okay. two. Let's go with number Her two. Name. Her phone mm -hmm. number 22, 50, no, 5, is it 56, 50, 50, what? 89, okay, workplace, eh, no la escuché muy bien, pero la noté, city, city hall, okay. address, Roosevelt suite, job, Position, secretary, department, human resource, ID, GT06031. Okay, thank you. Very nice. But that's number one or number two, Ivania? Number two. Ay, no, oh. no, perdón. Number one, number one, number one. Yeah, I guess it's number one. Yeah. Yes, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you gave a lot of good information. Thank you, Ivania. Good. Uh, we go with Cecilia and then Edwin. Y Edwin es que me van a ganar la mía también. Okay, Cecilia. Two. Number. Number one, Ceci. Two, dice Edwin. And Ceci, what do you I have? Two, Iba, yo fíjate. Sin modo, ganaste la Edwin. Sorry. Sorry for you, Edwin. Vamos, Ceci. Uh, she name is Marcela. Okay. Um, her, her, her phone, her number four is seven, 72, 53, 41, 32. She wore in Sport Palace. Uh, she is a cashier. Uh, Para decir el departamento, si no sé cómo tengo que decir. The, ajá, department is, department, the department is, mm -hmm. department is customer service. Yeah. El ID es, I es 96890. Okay, thank you. That's number two or number three? Number two, right? Number two. Okay, es que me dijiste el ID del otro, but thank you, that's okay. Ah, okay. No problem. Ya ves que quería decir el tres. Edwin, you were ready with number two, right? Ladies first. <laughs> yeah, ladies first. Okay. No, okay. Uh, number, no, eh, el solo queda el number three. Yeah, el I. Yes, no, number three. Okay, mm -hmm. her name is Elisa. Yep. Her phone number is... 79 63 21 54 yes and her workplace is in a bank yep and uh, her address is on Berry street and the first avenue and her job position is um account mm -hmm. and in department is in finance and her id is ES 9689 Ok, very nice. Good, good, good. Eh, este creo que va a ser el último audio que le puedo poner porque mañana creo que tenga audio. So, look at this. Yeah, this is the complete information. As you can see, I know it is kind of difficult sometimes. Ok, so if you notice, here we have like the complete info, maybe in some numbers, quizás hubo dificultades en algunos números, one or two numbers, but the general information you already got it, tira tiene. The other participants who wrote, quien escribieron, it's okay. If you wrote Gabriela, Marcela, Elisa, nice. Workplace, eh, si escribieron bank, eh, sport palace, si escribieron secretary, cashier, accountant. All of these words are very important. Not all the time you're going to get all the, the words. No siempre van a obtener todas las palabras. Pero si van obteniendo palabra por palabra, ¿qué quiere decir? Que están avanzando. 
Entonces, muchos de ustedes, yo creo que la mayoría no, no estuvieron en, en cursos de inglés. Y si están avanzando y, y entendiendo palabras y todo, todo es un avance. Ok. Thank you. Gracias, gracias. Y pues realmente eh, me parece muy bien. Creo que la mayoría anotó varias palabras. Quizás no anotaron toda la información algunos, pero sí muchas de las palabras. Y eso quiero que lo tomen como, como logros. Ok. The can answer que ustedes tienen. Thank you. Ok, we're going to continue with the question. Vamos con la pregunta de Who has had the most influence in your life? ¿Quién ha tenido la mayor influencia en tu vida? Ok, so we continue with this. Let's listen to some of you. The other people who is here, for example, the, I would like to listen to Christy and then Frank. Ok, Christy. Era la segunda tarea, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí. Yeah. Aquí, aquí lo tengo. Perfecto. Bueno, o la tenía, teacher. Mm, pues. No, aquí está. Nice. Vaya. Es, my mother, because she's a very strong person and full of, of optimist. No, optimistic. Okay, or optimism, optimism. Thank you. That kind of people, well, those kind of people are very nice, optimistic. I like optimistic people. Thank you. Uh, we go with Frank and Gabriela. My mother, because my father did, died. Died, okay. Died when I was a child. And she raised me and my sister. Okay, she raised you. Uh, very important, very nice. Thank you. Okay, uh, we go with Gabriela and then Jose Ernesto. Okay, Gabriela is not ready. Jose Ernesto and then we go with Pau. Okay, maybe Paola is not ready. Pao, todavía no. Okay, eh, Meida. Hola, hola. Okay, Meida, please. My dad, he, because he's a very strict, eh, but he's a very good person. He likes to help people and a lot. He tells me what is a good and what is a bad. I admire him a lot. Nice, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even some dads are very strict, but it is important in our lives. Thank mm -hmm. you. And we go with, let's see who else. Tiomara and then Bea. Um, my mother, grandmother. Hombre de goma, why a bill here? Well, look it for the good side of the things. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Good for you, Xiomara. Beatriz and Yesenia. Okay. Uh, my mother teacher, because mm -hmm. she worked 25 years in company so that I never learned something. She is okay. a great example of love in mm -hmm. Very nice. Very worker. Hard worker woman. Thank you, Bea. Yesenia, are you okay? Okay. Uh, we continue with the last part of this. Let me check uh, something. Mm, we're going to complete this. Hola, Jesse. Hello. Are you okay? Is that Lisa? Oh, 
Ok, creo que tiene dificultad Jesse. Ok. Um, let's see. Vamos, vamos con una conversación, eh, pues, un tanto corta. Very simple. We can, siempre. Hey, here we have conversation three and four. So in this case, here we have, where would you like to live in the future? I'd like to live in the country. What would you do? I'd have a farm. What? That would be fun. Yeah, I want to grow my own food. Okay. Eh, dice, ¿dónde te gustaría vivir en el futuro? Me gustaría vivir en el campo. ¿Qué te gustaría hacer? Eh, tendría una granja. Eso sería divertido, sí. Eh, quiero cultivar mi propia comida. Aún. Okay, future, future. Future farm grow own, own food. Okay, conversation number four. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea, please. Do you want sugar with that? No, but I like some lemon. Would you like a straw? No, thanks. ¿Qué te gustaría beber? Me gustaría un té helado, por favor. ¿Quieres azúcar con eso? No, pero me gustaría algo de limón. ¿Quieres una pajilla? No, gracias. Esta palabra es importante, straw. ¿Ok? Straw. ¿Ok? Eh, future, farm, grow, own, iced tea, sugar, straw. We're going to, we're going to have a practice. Sería la última práctica, después regresamos. It's very, very uh, simple. Thank you for sending the, the, the picture. Gracias por enviar la imagen. Y nos vemos en un momento, ¿ok? Ok, see you in a moment. Okay, my friends, thank you. Sería Beatriz, Francisco, Edwin, Yesenia, Paola. Yo sigo esperando, teacher, no me ha mandado. Sí la envié, fíjate. Pero déjame ver. Si te llegó ahora, la aceptas, ok.
Hola, Meida, te volví a enviar la solicitud. Thank you. Ok, my friends, we're going to uh, finish this. Vamos a ver si tenemos dos, dos parejas. Maybe Melvin, can you help us, please, with conversation three or four? Conversation number four, teacher. Ok, and your classmate is? Janet. Ok, Janet, ahí está Janet, lista para la acción. Ok. Action. What, what would you like to drink? I like a uh, easy, please. 
Do you want sugar with that? No, but I like some lemon. Well, you like a straw? No, thank Okay, very nice. Thank you. Good one. And we're going to finish with uh, some other. Maybe we can listen this time to Meida and company. Who was your classmate, Meida? Who is the part? part, part Alguien que está al siguiente. Creo que es Yesenia. Okay. Yes. Okay. Eh, Segura que con estuviste. Creo que no. Sacó varias veces. Después me puso con una que estaba de oyente. Okay. okay, vamos a practicar entonces con no problem. Meida, Let's... soy yo, Cristina. Ah, Cristi era. Ajá. Okay. Adelante, please. Go ahead. Eh, conversation three or four? Four, four. Ah, chivo. Dele. Okay. Dele. What would you like to drink? I like an ice tea, please. Do you want sugar with that? No, but I like some lemon. Would you like a straw? No, thanks. Thank you very much, my friends. Okay, voy a pasar lista. I'm going to check the attendance list. Eh, eh, okay, listen. Ya es lo último. Mañana es la última clase. Quiero que me pongan un emoji este thumb up, que es pulgar arriba, así. Los que les llegó el correo o en WhatsApp, la información sobre una encuesta. Si alguien sabe, sí, Cristi, Ivania, Pau, ¿quién más? Ok, Iris, ah, la mayoría, thank you, thank you. Ok, creo que la mayoría, ¿verdad? Quiero que le den una revisada a eso y mañana vamos a hacer la encuesta. Thank you, gracias por contestar. Mañana vamos a hacer un, la encuesta durante la clase. Eh, sugiero, please, 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 que todos eh, terminen la unidad 4 y el examen final. Son pocos los que quedan. La mayoría ya, pues, terminaron eh, todo. La mayoría tiene una excelente nota. Ok, no problem with that. Han estado conectados. Lo único que hace falta. Lo único que hace falta es la clase de mañana y llenar la encuesta. Los que no han hecho la unidad 4 ni el examen, háganlo ahora o mañana a más tarde. Please. Si ustedes tienen dudas, pueden escribirme. Si, si creen que quieren confirmar que ya lo han hecho, ¿verdad? Así, así como han hecho algunas, ¿verdad? Creo que me escribió Iris. No sé si también estuve hablando con Bea, ¿verdad? Y otros que igual, ¿verdad? Si ustedes tienen dudas, pueden consultarme. Si no, mañana durante... El día voy a estar revisando quienes hacen falta que terminen la unidad 4 o el examen final. Please. Una vez han terminado lo de la plataforma, solo el, termina la clase, la encuesta y bye bye. Okay. Eh, recuerden que mañana vamos a tomar una foto grupal, captura de pantalla, ¿verdad? Para que no me estén reclamando después que no les estoy avisando, ¿verdad? Sería eso y pues eh, no falten mañana. Última clase, ya para decir adiós y terminamos el módulo de una manera excelente. Se nos fue el tiempo, no voy a poder pasar el lista, pero necesito que en el chat me escriban hello o me escriban present o good evening o good night. De esta manera voy a pasar lista ahora, ¿ok? Me quedo revisando el chat y paso viendo, ¿verdad? Eh, así que, please, ¿verdad? Ahí me, me escriben, thank you, excelente. Así como lo están haciendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Perfect. Yo me quedo revisando ahí, confirmando, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Así que nos vemos mañana, no falten, ¿ok? Última clase. Bye bye. Feliz noche. Bye. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye, teacher.